scientific measurements lab is aimed to get experience on using scientific device to understand significant figure and know how to report with significant figure. The first measurement device is mass measurement. The electrical balance are available in various decimal. The higher decimal, the more accurate of the data. Look at this three group student report weight of an object. It can be concluded that student group one used no decimal balance, while student in group two and group three use higher accurate balance. What is the meaning of these reports? The digit of record can be divided into two parts, exactly number or exact digit and uncertain digit. Exact digit which are obtained from the marking of the measuring device that seen exactly. This exact digit can be many digits and the uncertain digit which is the one last digit estimated from the smallest scale of the measuring device. The number of exact digits and uncertain digit are called significant figure or sig fig. From this table, it can be said that the reader record different significant figure of one, two, and three, where the number two, three, and eight are uncertain numbers. When the volumetric device, such as billet, pipette, cylinder, and beaker are used, how to report the data with significant figure? The answer is determining of device scale. For example, reading on the graduate cylinder. Let's have a look closely to the scale of 10, 50, and 100 ml of cylinder. The scale of 50 and 100 ml are similar with the smallest interval of 1 ml. The certain reading can be 11, 12, 13, or 15, but the reading between the smallest interval or scale needed to be estimated. So this means that the reading of the cylinder contains one decimal place. For example, reading of water volume in 100 ml cylinder. Make sure read at the meniscus right here. The water level is located between 52 and 53. So one unstained digit between these two numbers is estimated. This reading should be 52.7 ml, where 0 0.7 is uncertain digit. Quality of the measuring device is determined from absolute error, which is calculated from half of the smallest scale. So start from finding the smallest scale of the device. The cylinder start from 20 to 10 is 10 ml. In this 10 ml is divided by 10 parts or 10 intervals. So this means that the smallest scale is 1 ml. Absolute error is 1 divided by 2 ml is 0.5 ml. This means that the cylinder can repulse up to one decimal place. Look at the pipette and build rate. 
they show similar scale in which 1 ml is divided by 10 parts. What is the significant figures of the rating taken from these two measuring devices? Since the smallest scale of this device is 2 minus 1 is equal 1 ml, then it's divided by 10 parts is equal to 0 0.1 ml. The absolute error is 0.1y by 2 is equal to 0 0.05 ml. This means that the reading contains two decimal places. Then the burette and pipette are more accurate than cylinder. It is important to make sure that your eye need to be at the same level of the meniscus to obtain accurate reading. Lower or higher level of the eyes will result in some error of reading. In the case of beaker, say 50 ml beaker, the smallest scale is 20 minus 10 is equal 10 ml. So the absolute error will be 10 divided by 2 is plus and minus 5 ml. For example, if the level of water in the beaker is at the yellow line, the volume may be reported 25, 26, 27, or even 28. They are all correct since the last digit right here are uncertain number. This table concludes the reading of the measuring device based on the significant figure rule. We can conclude that billet and pipette give the most accurate reading since they contain two decimal. Cylinder gives less accurate reading only with one decimal place. Bigger gives the least accuracy with no decimal place. So bigger is used only for approximate measurement. Now students are allowed to practice how to use the different measuring device and how to report the reading from the measurement. This experiment is divided into three parts, weighting, measuring volume, and measuring density, which integrate the technique from section one and section two. Section one, weighting. Two types of balance, triple beam balance and electrical balance will be used. The object to be weighted is aluminum cubic. How to use the triple beam balance? Firstly, calibrate the scale until the balance point is at the zero mark. However, this calibration is normally done. Press the aluminum cube to be weighted on the pan. The balance point will move higher zero mark. Slide the points and adjust to get the balance point at the zero mark. If the balance point is at below the zero mark, you need to slide the points back one knot. Then move the smaller point right until you get the balance point at the zero mark. Record the weight from the points as following. 100 grams points it at zero, meaning the Q weight is lower than 100 grams, so it's zero grams. The 10 grams points at 10, it means that the Q weight is about 10 grams. And one gram points is at right here is 1.80 grams with two decimal. This is because the scale right here is one and divide by 10 parts is 0 0.1 grams. 
then the absolute error is divided by 2, so it is 0 0.05. So you need to report with two decimal places. So the weight of the cube is 11.80 gram. Take all points back in place and zero and repeat the experiment twice. Calculate average weight of the aluminum cube. Another type of balance is electrical balance. It is the easiest to use by first before weighting, make sure the display show 0 0.00 grams. If not, press tab button. Press the aluminum cube on the center of the pan. The display will show the weight of the cube. Record the weight after G appears. Section 2. Students will be allowed to learn how to use different volume measuring devices, including burette, pipette, cylinder, and beaker. Then record the volume based on six feet rules. Section 2.1. This experiment is carried out by pipetting 25 ml of tap water and transfer to 50 ml graduate cylinder. Read the volume of tap water in the cylinder based on six feet rule. Then transfer tap water from the cylinder to 50 ml of a beaker. Then read the volume from the picker. Section 5 ml of tap water from the billet to the graduate cylinder. Read the volume, and then transfer the tap water to a beaker. Then read the volume at the beaker. Section 3 Determination of Density of Solid and Liquid. This section involves the calculation of six feet. This section is divided into two parts. The first part involves determination of density of aluminum cube using rural and water displacement. The second part involves the determination of density of water in different ways. Section 3.1, density of the cube. The density is Equal m divided by volume, mass or weight of aluminum cube is getting from section 1. Volume of aluminum cube can be determined from water replacement by fill up 20 ml of tap water in 100 ml cylinder. Then put aluminum cube in the cylinder. Read and record exact volume of the tap water. The different volume of water is the volume of the cube. 
since aluminum cube is geometric shape, so the volume of the cube can be calculated from uh, width, length, and height of the cube. Section 3.2, density of water. Keep in mind, density is equal to mass of that object divided by volume of object. So we need to know the weight and volume of water. Start from wetting a dry and clean 50 ml graduate cylinder. Then pipe 25 ml of tap water and transfer to a both cylinder. Reading the volume of the tap water in the graduate cylinder. Where the graduate cylinder contains tap water. With this measurement, the density of water will be obtained. An alternative method to determine the density of water is graph plotting. The density obtained from the slope of the graph is supposed to be more accurate than the first method. The experiment will be followed. Wetting a dry and clean 10 ml graduate cylinder. Add 1 ml of water into the cylinder. Adjust the volume to get exactly volume. Where the graduate cylinder contains 1 ml of water. Repeat the method by adding the water to 4 ml and 10 ml and then wait. The average density will be obtained. Before going to the calculation part, let's review the principle of significant figure calculation, including addition, subtraction, and multiplication division. In case of addition and subtraction, for example, when add these two numbers and using calculation, the answer will be 128.447, which is significant figure of 6. Is this answer true or false? Definitely it is false. To find the significant figure, from addition. The simple calculation will carry out by make a 3.247 plus 125.2. In this case, this number 2 and number 2, 7 are uncertain number. After adding, we get 128.447. Look at this point. Uncertain number plus certain number will be uncertain number. This means that with the addition, significant figure should be at the least number of decimal places. So this, the answer will be 128.4, where 4 is uncertain number and 128 is the certain number. With the same method, on multiplication and division, such as 3.14 times 0 0.64. So make calculation like 3.14, where 4 is uncertain number, times 0. 6, 4, and this 4 is also uncertain number. Now, uncertain number times 3.1, getting all uncertain number, and 6 times uncertain number will get uncertain number. The rest are certain number. Once we add up, we will get only one certain number and the rest are uncertain number. This means that 
we need to report only to significant figure. So once multiplication take place, the significant figure will be the least number of significant figure. And 0 0.64 have only two significant figure, and this number is three significant figure. So the result should show only two significant figure. Now, what is the significant figure of the average weight of the queue? The average weight of the queue is calculated with this equation, where x i is the number of experiments. So we can replace from the equation by 5.50 plus 5.45 plus 5.55 divided by 3. On the top here is uh, adding significant figure. So we get only two decimal. We get all 16.50 divided by 3. Number 3 comes from counting, not measuring. So the significant rule is not considered. So the average weight of the queue will be reported with two decimal places is 5.50. How about the number? of maximum minus to minimum. The maximum point is 5.55 minus with 5.45. So it will be equal to 0 0.10, but not 0 0.1. Because this is minus, so we have to look at the smallest decimal places. What is the significance of standard deviation? We can do by replace the data in here. So we get all this square root with x is 5.50 minus 5.50 square plus 5.245 minus 5.250 square and 5255 five five minus 5250 five divided by 2. So what is meaning? For example, we use this one to calculate. It's 550 minus 545. So when we plus or minus, uh, we get the smaller decimal. So this is equal to 0 0.05. So the result is only one significant figure. After we get 0 0.05 times is square, times 0 0.05. So this is one significant figure, and this is also one significant figure. Once we times, the answer should be the lowest significant figure. So we get the number only one significant figure right here. And then divide by 2. The number 2 is counting, so no need to consider. The results of the standard deviation is 0 0.05, which only one significant figure. <laughs>《The density of the aluminum cube can be calculated by the y mass, which is getting from section 1. For example, we get 11.80 grams. The worm can be get from measuring or water displacement. From the measuring, so this is 11.880 gram. After make a rank, each rank are three significant figures. And once we times, the answer is will be 
three significant figures. So the density is mass divided by volume. Significant figure of the weight is four. Divide by 1.95, which is three significant figure. So the result should have only three significant figures. <laughs>